Hello student, welcome to my channel Learn Physics. Today I will be discussing exemplar MCQ, short question, very short questions and numericals of class 9, chapter 8. This video will be extremely helpful for foundation of NEET, main and advanced. Okay. I hope you will understand the video. Please like, share, comment on this. And to get more video for the foundation of men, neat and advanced, please subscribe my channel. Okay, now let's start. First of all, multiple choice question. Now, look at this question number one. A particle is moving in a circular path of radius r. The displacement of the circle would be. Okay? Look at this, this circular path. Suppose the particle starts at this point and, uh, and around this strip, it ends the diametrically opposite point. That is, look at this, this point. So, displacement is the straight distance between initial point and final point. Now, this is the diameter of the circular path. So, look at this, the displacement is 2R. Okay. Now, question number 2. A body is thrown vertically upward with velocity u. The greatest height h which it will rise. Look at this, at the top point Look at this, suppose a particle projected with velocity u, okay, in a vertically upward direction. At the top point of the journey, final velocity equal to 0. If final velocity is 0, then you can write 0 square equal to u square minus 2g. Suppose h be the maximum height ascent by the body, okay. So, look at this, this is a 2g h. Therefore, h equal to this is the u square by 2g. Okay. Look at this. This option is correct. The numerical ratio of displacement to distance for a moving object is. Look at this. You know displacement always less than equal to distance. Therefore, displacement by distance less than equal to 1. Okay. Understood? Next. Now, question number 4. If the displacement of an object is proportional to square of time, then the object moves. Look at this. Displacement is directly proportional to, look at this, p square. So, s equal to, this is the k p square. Now, we know when a particle moves with constant acceleration, from rest, then the displacement s is equal to this is the half a p square. Okay, look at this. If you compare this, 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 you can get half a equal to k. k is constant, so a equal to 2k. As k constant, 2k also constant. Therefore, the acceleration of the therefore the acceleration of the particle is constant so look at this option b is correct okay now look at this from the given vt graph it can be inferred that the object is look at this this is the velocity and this is the time now look at this time increases but velocity remains same so it is the vt graph of constant velocity. That is, the body is in uniform motion. Okay, understood? Look at this, question number 9. Which of the following figures, this is the 8.3, represents the uniform motion of a moving object directly? Look at this, this is the distance time graph. Now, look at this, here distance increases and angle made by distance time graph 
with the time axis is constant. So, we know that the slope of the distance time graph is the velocity. Okay, no problem. So, look at this. This graph represents the uniform motion in a straight line. Okay, now this is the distance time graph of constant acceleration. This is the distance time graph of constant retardation. This is the distance time graph of a stationary object. Okay. So, our option is A. Now, question number 10. The slope of a velocity time graph gives, look at this, the slope of velocity time graph 10 theta equal to V by T equal to acceleration. Okay, look at this, the acceleration. No problem. Now, question number 11. In which of the following cases of motions, the distance moved and the magnitude of displacements are equal? Look at this. If an object moves in a straight line path in same direction, then distance and displacement are equal. Now, look at this. Option A. If the car is moving on a straight road, okay, this option is correct. Now, SAQ question, short answer question. Question number 12. The displacement of a moving object in a given interval of time is zero. Would the distance travel by an object also be zero? Justify your answer. So, in a straight line path, if displacement zero, distance also zero. But in a card path, look at this. Suppose this is a circular path. In this path, the particle. Now look at this. In this card path, here displacement zero, but distance is not zero. Okay. Now question number thirteen. How will the equation of motion for an object moving with uniform velocity with with a uniform velocity change. Now look at this for uniform motion. Look at this for uniform motion acceleration A equal to 0. So look at this the equation of motion S equals to ut plus half into 0 into t square. So look at this here S equals to. So here S equals to u into t. Okay. And v square equal to u, u square plus 2 a a 0 into s. So, v square equal to u square. Okay. And again, look at this v equal to u plus 0 into t. So, v equal to u. Therefore, equation of motion here v equal to u. Here s equals to u into t. And here v square is equal to u square. Okay. Understood. Next. Now look at this question number 14. A girl walks along the straight path to drop a letter in the letter, letter box and comes back to her initial position. Her displacement time graph shown in figure. This is the 8.4. The plot the velocity time graph for the same time. Look at this. From O to A, this is the positive velocity. From A to B, this is the negative velocity. What is the positive velocity? V is to displacement is the 100, time is the 50. So, look at this. This is the 100 by 50. So, this is the 2 meter per second. Now, negative velocity is also 2 meter per second. Okay. Now, plot a graph. Look at this. Suppose this is the x axis. Okay. And this is the y axis. No problem. So, look at this here. This is the time axis t and this is the velocity v. Now, this represents from 0 to 50 second represents the positive velocity. Okay. So, this is the 50 and this is the 2 meter per second. No problem. Now, look at this here. A negative velocity minus 2 also here. Okay. So, look at this here. Look at this. This is the minus 2 meter per second. So, from 50 to, look at this, from 50 to 100 second, look at this, from 50 to 100 second, this is the negative velocity. This is the positive velocity, this is the negative velocity. Okay, understood? Now, question number 15. 
A car starts from rest and moves along the x-axis with constant acceleration 5 meter per second square for 8 seconds. If it then continues with constant velocity, what is the distance will cover? What the distance will the car cover in 12 seconds since it started from rest? Okay. Now look at this. If we plot the distance time, if we plot the velocity time graph for this motion, so look at this. This represents velocity, this represents time. Now look at this. This is the constant acceleration. Now time for acceleration, this is the 8 seconds. So look at this, this is 8. Now total time of journey, this is the 12 seconds. So look at this, this is the 12 seconds. So look at this, this distance travel with constant acceleration and this distance travel with constant velocity. The area of the VT graph represents displacement. Look at this area of this triangle. This is the half into base. Base is the A. And what is the velocity? Look at this velocity here. Acceleration is the 5 meter per second. So velocity V equal to 0 plus A into T. So this is the 40 meter per second. So height is 40. So look at this. This is the 40. Plus what is the area of this? Look at this area of this is the 40 into 4, 40 into 4. So look at this, this is the, this and this 4. So this is the 160 plus 160. So 320 is the distance travel in 12 seconds. Okay. Now question number 16. A motorcyclist drives from A to B with uniform speed 30 km per hour and, and returns brakes with a speed 20 km per hour. Find the average speed. Look at this. <coughs> here, look at this. Here, this distance moves with 30 km per hour. Again, this distance also moved in the reverse journey. This is the 20 km per hour. So, look at this. Here, distance same. So, for some, for same distance, the formula of average velocity, the formula of average speed for a same distance, the formula of average speed, this is the 2 V1 V2 divided by, this is the V1 plus V2. Now, this is the 2 into 30 into 20 divided by 30 plus 20. So, look at this. This is the 60. This is the 120 by 50. So, this is the 24 kilometer per hour is the average speed in the whole journey. Okay. Now question number 17. The velocity time graph shown in the motion. Look at this. This is the velocity time graph. This replaces the constant velocity. Okay. Find its acceleration, its velocity and distance covered by the cyclist in 15 seconds. So look at this. For uniform motion, the distance covered by the now, the distance covered by the cyclist is the area of VT graph. What is the area? Look at this. This area represents the distance. Okay. So, look at this. Distance is the, this is the 20 and this is the 25. So, S equals to, this is the 20 into 25. So, this is the 500 meter. Now, velocity, velocity is the 20 meter per second. Acceleration, acceleration is 0 for uniform motion. Oh, now question number 18. Draw a velocity versus time graph of a stone thrown vertically upward and then come downward after attaining the maximum height. Okay. So look at this in VT graph. Look at this. First of all, its velocity decreases. So look at this velocity decreases to zero and again its velocity increases in opposite direction. So, look at this. This is the VT graph of a stone moving upward, then downward. Okay. This is the V and this is the T. The slope of this graph is the negative. So, here acceleration due to gravity is taken as negative because it downwards and body moves in upward direction. Okay. Now, long answer question. 
Now question number 90. An object is dropped from rest at a height of 150 meter and simultaneously another object is dropped from the rest at height 100 meter. What is the difference in their height? What is the difference in their height after 2 seconds if both object dropped from the same acceleration? Okay. Here, initial velocity of both the object is zero. The acceleration of both downward. So look at this, the relative acceleration zero. Initial velocity both the zero. Now, during falling of these two objects, their difference of distance is always 50 meter. Okay. Now, question number 20. An object starting from this travel 20 meter in first 2 seconds and 160 meter in next 4 seconds. What will be the velocity after 7 seconds from the start? Now look at this. Find T1 equal to 2 seconds. S is equal to this is the 20 meter. So look at this. Now using the formula S equals to ut plus half a t square. We get, the, look at this. This is the 20 equal to u. U means now u is the initial velocity, t is the 2 and this is the half a into this is the 2 square. So look at this 20 equal to 2u plus this is the this and this cancel out, this is 2a. So look at this 10 equal to this is the u plus a is the equation of motion for the object. Okay. Now this is equation number 1. Okay. Now in second case, t equal to taken as 2 second plus 4 second. So this is the 6 second. In 6 seconds, the distance covered, this is the 20 meter plus 160 meter. So look at this, this is the 180 meter. Therefore, look at this, this is the 180 equal to u, u into this is the 6 plus half into a into 6 square. So look at this, this is the 180 equal to 6 u plus this is the 36, so this is the 18 a. Now, if we divide this equation by 6, we get, look at this, this is the 30 equal to u plus this is the 3 Now, this is equation number 2. This is equation number 1. So, look at this 10 equal to this is the u plus a. Now, subtract it, this, this, this. So, you get 2a equal to this is the 20. No problem. So, a equal to this is the 10 meter per second square. Okay. Now, now velocity, look at this u plus a equal to 10. Now, here a equal to 10. So, here u equal to 0. So, look at this, the distance travel. So, velocity after 7 seconds, v equal to this is the 0 plus a into t. a is the 10 and t is the 7. So, this is the 70 meter per second with a velocity after 7 seconds. Okay. Question number 20. Using the following data, draw the displacement time graph for a moving object. Okay. Now, look at this. Suppose this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Okay. No problem. Now, velocity is taken at, along y axis and time is taken along x axis. So, look at this. So, for increase of time 0 to 2 seconds, the displacement also increases 0 to 2. So, it moves with constant velocity. So, look at this. This is the now time 0, time 0, 0. Time 2, displacement 2. So, velocity is the 2. So, look at this, its velocity increases from 0 to 2 seconds. Now, 4, 4 also increases. Look at this, its velocity increases 4. Now, look at this, time increases, but displacement same. Time increases, displacement same. So, look at this, this is the straight line. Okay, so look at this here, this is the 8 second to 10 second. For increment of 2 seconds, displacement also increases to. So, look at this, the graph becomes this. Okay, no problem. Now, again 2 seconds, look at this here, 
displacement decreases to 4, then 2, then 0. So, look at this. From here, the displacement decreases to 0 at this point. Okay. So, look at this. This is the 2 second. This is the 4 second. Okay. Now, this is the this is the 8 second. Okay. This is the 6 second. And this is the look at this. This is the 10 second. Okay. Now, at 10 second, displacement maximum. And finally, this is the 16 second. Okay. Understood. Now, question number 22. An electron moving with velocity 5 into 10 to the power 4 meter per second enters into a uniform electric field and acquires a uniform acceleration 10 to the power 4 meter per second square in the direction of its initial motion. Okay. Now, calculate the time in which the electron would acquire the velocity double of its initial velocity. Okay. Now, look at this. Here, acceleration is this. Here, initial velocity 5. So, final velocity double. Double this means 2 into 5 into 10 to the power 4. Now, time t equal to change of velocity by acceleration. Change of velocity, this is the 2 into, 2 into 5 into 10 to the power 4 minus, this is the a 5 into 10 to the power 4 divided by, this is the 10 to the power 4. So, look at this. This is the 5 second answer. Okay. Now, question number 2. How much distance the electron would cover in this time? So, look at this. The distance cover A equals to this is the V square minus U square by 2A. What is V square? Look at this. 10 into 10 to the power 4 whole square. Okay. Now, minus 5 into 10 to the power 4 whole square. Okay. No problem. Divide by 2 into 10 to the power 4. Okay. So, look at this. This is the 100 minus 25 into 10 to the power. This is the 8 by here 2 into 10 to the power 4. So, look at this. This is the 37.5 into 10 to the power 4 meter is the distance traveled by the electron. Okay. Now, question number 23. Obtain a relation for the distance traveled by an object moving with uniform acceleration in the interval between 4th second and 5th second. Okay. Now, now you know the distance travel in 8th second is t equal to u plus half a into 2t minus 1. No problem. So, look at this here S4. This is to u plus this is the half a into this is the 4 into 2 minus 1. So, look at this. This is the u plus 7 by 2 into a. This is equation number 1. Now, S5, this is the u plus half a. This is the 2 into 5 minus 1. So, look at this u plus this is the 9 by 2 a. Okay. Now, relation is the s5 minus s4. So, look at this. This is the 9. Look at this is the 9 by 2a minus 7 by 2a. So, this is the a. Is the distance. So, difference of distance travel by the body in 4th second and 5th second is the acceleration. Okay. Now, question number 24. Two stones are thrown vertically upward simultaneously with their initial velocity u1 and u2 respectively. Prove that their height reached by them would be in the ratio u1 is to u2. Now, look at this. If a particle is projected with velocity u1 at the maximum height v equal to 0 at a maximum point. So, look at this. If h1 be the maximum height reached, so look at this. This is the 0 square equal to u1 square minus 2gh1. So, from this relation 2gh1, this equals to u1 square. So, h1 is equal to u1 square by 2g. Similarly, h2 equal to this is the u2 square by 2g. Okay, no problem. Therefore, h1 is to h2. This equals to u1 square is to u square because this and this terms are cancelled out. Okay. 
many many thanks for watching this video this video will be extremely helpful to solve the any numerical in motion please always connected with my channel to get the more concept